Blue scale is a super great tool and very very flexible. You can apply this in any key and almost anywhere. Here is how it works and how to add this to your playing and your solos. Years back when I was teaching in the Netherlands I needed new material to beginners and intermediate students in improvising. I stopped across Gene Ammons on the recording with Sonny Stitt playing Walking. The amazing thing is Gene Ammons manages to play a full solo continuously circling around just only using the blue scale. Starting by or later finding out how great the blue scale is was a great rediscovery for me. I'll tell you about these things I discovered. How to use the blue scale and still play the chords, how the blue scale works together and against the other notes in the scale, finding out about the inversion of the blue scale. Hi there, I'm Søren Balagor and welcome to Søren Balagor's saxophone lessons. A pentatonic scale with an extra sharp note. The blue scale is basically a five note pentatonic scale. Added a blue note between the fourth and the fifth. That lovely F sharp. The F sharp leads up to the G. Or when you play the scale down, you get a G flat. And the G flat leads towards the F. Gene Ammons uses the outline of the chords and fit this over the blues scale to see what fits the chords and in the blues scale. For example on this C7. He uses the notes that are common for both the scale and the chord as target notes which he emphasizes in his solo. You see, the C is in the scale, the E flat is not, the F is not, F sharp is not, the G is, and the B flat in the chord and in the scale. In the lick I played earlier, he's circling around the C and the B flat and those are the most important target notes in the C7 chord. But he's still playing that blues scale. If we look at the F7 and the same blues scale played from F, we can make the same connection. The F7, the same C scale played from F. We have the F which is common. We have the C which is common. And we have the E flat which is common. The F and the E flat are the great notes to hit. Those are the ones emphasizing the F7. Looking at this little line. In this line I'm using the G flat because I'm leading towards the F. What I mentioned earlier, the scale is going down. The G flat is leading towards F downwards. As long as you emphasize the notes fitting the chords, you get really good lines. So now I'm emphasizing the F and the E flat and still using the blues scale. So playing the F7 chord, emphasizing the F and the E flat. You can find lots of blues lines in my blue scales and licks compendium. Check the link in the description below. Why does the blues note sound so wrong and at the same time so great? As mentioned earlier, the F sharp and the G flat works as leading notes towards the F and the G going up or going down. The half step is so strong that it screams out the following notes. So the F sharp leading to G and the G flat leading to F. If you listen to the great blues hero like B.B. King, often he will play something like this. These are fundamentally wrong notes played on the C7 seen from a technical and theoretical point of view. But when you look at it musically, you get a completely different perspective. You hear the leading effect towards the target note, which is C on the C7. The F sharp and the E flat just draws you towards this C chord. You want this C chord happening, the C note. The tension between the actual chord and the blue scale is quite some. This is how the relation is between the C7 chord and the blue scale. You have the F 
F-sharp and the E-flat. Both notes are not in the C7 chord. They are there to create tension. The F-sharp creates tension towards the G and the E-flat creates tension towards the E. <laughs> In our little lick towards the root, the F sharp is longing to get to the fifth, and the fifth is a common leading tone towards the root. Remember the first discovery play towards the target notes to give a really good feel of the chord and the progression in the music. Play towards these target notes, those are the most important. Most of the target notes are chord tones. Secondly, Play with the tensions, like the F-sharp and the E-flat, that leads towards your target notes. The inversion of the blue scale. In the next part I'll change the chord we're working with to E-flat. You'll soon find out why. When I listen to blues players and a lot of jazz players, making this bend the minor third to the major third. Now we're in the key of E-flat. So the third is G. The minor third F sharp, which would suggest you would add the blue note, the half step, before the third. If you take the blue scale as we know it from the C, but play this from the third, you get the same scale but fitting an E flat 7 on E flat major chord. You see the connections? Same scale played from the third. Instead of the C scale, just play an E-flat scale, starting on the E-flat. This scale have a completely different sound to it. This is the major 6 scale, but it's one and the same scale as the C blue scale, but we call it the E-flat blue scale, and we're starting on the third of the C blue scale. You probably know the sound already. You could also choose to play the two blue scales together. We have to fit the chords and the keys together. As I said, I was moving you towards E flat. So lining up the scales and the chords. This is the E flat blue scale, starting on the E flat. We have the E flat, the G flat, the A flat, the A is the blue note now, the B flat, the D flat, and the E flat. Then you have the E flat major blue scale, this is the same scale as the C blue scale. So the E flat major blue scale, the E flat, the F, the F sharp, the G, the B flat, the C, and the E flat again. You get the common blue sound. Then you have the major six blue sound. And the impression when you add these two sounds together sounds like this. Mixing this up is great fun and one of the amazing things about the blues scale. Much more on this in the blues compendium where you get lots of scale exercise and blues licks. Blues compendium, find it in the description below. When you listen to the great jazz heroes of blues and jazz, you will hear this combination of scales and chords all the time. The change and mix of the two blue scale, normal blues scale and the major six blues scale. The amazing blues scale and how to use it. And as always, let me know if you have any questions, what you think and how you're doing in the comments below. Your support in likes, subscribes and shares are really, really appreciated. All links mentioned in this video are of course in the description below. Play music and have fun.